Hello everyone, it's Marilyn, welcome. I have my first video tutorial with the March Limited Edition kit by my creative scrapbook and I'm going to start using the uh, shipboard from Creative and this is the photo that I'm going to use. I want to create a design in this corner here of the paper. I will uh, make something, but first I'm going to give a treatment to the shipboard and I always apply gesso, but today I will not apply gesso. I will go direct because uh, with embossing powder, I am looking at embossing um, powder similar to the color of the flowers that I'm going to use. And this is the embossing dabber by Ranger. And I'm going to dab with the same bottle over all the cheap board and cover uh, cover all the shoe board with this uh, liquid it is like a adhesive then i will take uh the embossing powder it, it is called it's a girl and is this embossing powder is from blue fern studio and it will apply this uh, uh uncover all the shoe board Then I shake a little to remove the excess and I will uh, put the rest of the embossing into the jar. Now I take my heat gun and I'm going to melt the embossing powder. You will see that it looks uh, a pink, gray, it no looks uh, completely pink. For that reason, I will apply a second layer uh, we, and I dab with the uh, dabbing and bottle again with the dabber again and apply the cotton candy embossing powder that is a bright pink color but the, uh, when I dab uh, now I only apply the liquid in some area I'm not cover all the shipboard and I will do the same again I will shake uh, the shoe board to remove the excess of the embossing, put the rest on the jar, and I am melting again with the heat gun. And now it will take two different pink colors, and you can see here how it looks. If you like that the color looks more bright, you should apply gesso first. But I want to show you other way that you can do the things in this video. Now I cut uh, two mats for my photo, one black and one white. And I take the Distress Oxide ink and I'm going to add a pink color to all the border of the white mat with a sponge. And once I uh, apply the color to all the borders, I'm going to add uh, adhere double tape to uh, adhere the photo to the black mat. And then I peel off the, the cover of the tape and adhere it to the white mat that is a little bigger than the black mat. And now my photo is ready and I want to place everything in this corner but first I cut out some flowers from this paper and I'm going to cut three strips uh, three quarter inch by 12 and then I distress all the borders I'm using this uh, distress tool by Prima Marketing but you can use any that distress tool that you have or your scissors to do this I want the to distress uh, very well all the borders that they look like they are uh, breaking and then i'm going to start uh, to make my composition here and i'm going to play with the strips to create i, I want that they look like uh, interlacing so i will place uh, first stri strip uh, under the the shipboard and the second one over and in that way i can create something it's more visual than anything that looks uh, similar to an interlacing and now I push a little down this second strip here because I don't want that they all look similar and I take the third strip and I'm going to play with uh, with 
this strip in this corner here to create a balance between the two bo uh, both sides of the circular uh, sheet board here and I'm continue playing with the different strip uh, moving a little here until I love I think I'm going to push this a little down and now that I like how everything looks I will move it and I'm going to prime the paper and I'm using gesso clear gesso and oops it, <laughs> it takes a lot and now with a paintbrush I will apply this uh, medium over all the paper and once I uh, cover all the paper I will dry with my heat gun and dry uh, <coughs> very well all the paper here I place <coughs> on my composition again all the strips the shibor and with a pencil I make marks around everything <coughs> here because I'm going to add now textures and I'm using the stencil that this stencil is uh, stickable is sticky <coughs> so it is good because it, it will not move it's easy to apply uh, <coughs> the gesso oh sorry the gesso not the modeling paste I am applying modeling paste now and I apply uh, in some area as you see I I'm not trying to make the rectangle I so I make a irregular shape and I will do the same here in the bottom part here of the paper I'm following all the pencil marks it's hard because you, you can see the pencils mark but I, I, I do and I place in that area the stencil I remove again and I will add a leader on the top corner here and now I've removed carefully uh, the, the stencil but now I will add the same uh, embossing powder that I use for the shoe board and I will and add this over all these textures on the paper I'm trying to cover very well the modeling paste with this powder now I will uh, play with the paper to uh, to be sure that I cover uh, all the modeling paste so I move and shake and then I put the rest on the jar now I with the heat gun I will melt the embossing powder and at the same time I will dry the modeling paste and now that is ready I make a roll with the paper because it has like a curve uh, so you see here so the best the best thing for this is that you add here your page your paper to a 12 by 12 sheet board or to other a strong paper now it looks better and strong and I'm going to cut the excess of paper here and now my page is ready to adhere all the all my embellishments and uh, sheet boards and now I use uh, foam tape 3d foam tape and I'm going to start to adhere the strips um, to my page I'm using 3d foam tape because uh, it would give uh, a dimension in the strips and it looks better that if you adhere it flat to the paper let me see, see at, if at the end I, I can show you uh, photos with uh, some angles <clears throat> with different angles that you can see all the dimension that it has uh, it's a little tricky here to uh, line up the, this first uh, strip but once you adhere the first one the rest is easy I'm trying to line up uh, with the paper and to let like a quarter inch 
uh, on the border and now I, I'm going to start uh, adhering the foam tape if you I, I'm not I, I realize that I'm not uh, adhere the shoeboard I'm trying to attract the shoeboard between uh, the strips with the foam tape so and it stay um, firm it not move now I'm going to adhere the second strip and this one I put it uh, over the under the shoeboard to create the interlacing and I will do the same I will start adding uh, the foam tape here and there and I push a little down th these um, strips I think that because everything looks very clear, I will let you with music during this process. But if you have any question, uh, feel free to let me any question down below, okay? Let you with music. I come back soon. Now that the strips and this come uh, are ready, the strips are ready. I will add some uh, more texture with fabric. This is a cheesecloth that I already paint, and I am fraying the fabric to um, and play with it to put in this top corner here and I will add this around the flower the flower are not adhering yet I'm just uh, place the flowers to create my composition and I will start to adhere different elements here and once I am happy how everything looks I will start to adhere it I will let you with music I come back soon Okay, I take the word love from the puffy, uh, puffy stickers and I'm, I'm using like my title, I am playing, I'm not sure where, but I think that it looks better in this here, in this corner. And now I will start to adhere all the embellishment flowers with the hot glue and I adhere at the same time the fabric. I use the hot glue because it's fast, it's dry immediately and I want to continue with the other step and technique. And this um, butterfly I love is a it is a dimensional butterfly. It has double uh, wings and it's so pretty. It's like a 
Oh, I forgot the name of this material now. Balloon. It's like balloon. It's so pretty. Now I would add a little of glue here to uh, stick the cheesecloth. And this is ready. Now I'm going for my next step. That I want to uh, apply airstone, but this time I will add here the airstone different that I wish Holly uh, does. So I will mix the gel medium with the air stones and apply this paste, this mix that I make <laughs> a mess right now, um, because I want to show you a uh, other way that you can do it. You don't have, I, I prefer always uh, to apply direct, uh, but this time I just make the mix and you can see uh, another way to do it the same. You should try what is better for you. I recommend uh, to my student always that you try. I show you uh, the the way that for that for me is uh, the easier. But remember that we are we are all different, and maybe for you is easy in this way. So I want that is the reason that I do. As you see, I make a mess a mess uh, now here, but at the end I think it's fast in in this way. Because you 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 think that when I am doing this that you are degraded a cake, so this is the frosting, the frosting glaze or whatever you uh, put. And then I continue and I add this art stone around all the embellishment and I, I try to edit this part because I don't want to make the video too long. But <clears throat> I love the art stone and the texture that it gives to the pages, so I apply a lot out of <laughs> art stone here. You will see at the end in the closer photos. Once I apply this, and I put over the strips and in the borders to create the illusion that is falling from the flowers. Now I will add the word love, but uh, I think that it needs something to enhance the word. So I apply a little of gesso. Well, not too little because it looks too white. After I apply the gesso, I say, mm -mm, it looks too white. So I am trying to blend uh, well the gesso here uh, to, uh, to see that it covers the completely the word. Uh, and now I decided to add color because it's too white. I dry and I'm using the cotton candy color broom and I will add this uh, over the gesso here to add color. I use the paintbrush to blend this over the gesso. Once I cover this, I will dry it. And now I uh, take the love word and I'm going to adhere in this area. These puffy stickers, well, the word says like sticker, it has very uh, sticky. I, and I don't have, I don't have to add more uh, glue or something. It has enough. Now I will add some pearls. You know that if you follow my videos, you know that I can't live without pearls. I just love pearls, so I add a few pearls and um, randomly uh, around the page here. And this time I adhere the pearls with the hot glue. Then I take the puffy sticker and this heart and I'm going to add in this corner here. I think it looks cute here. And then I take my watercolor, meta my metallic watercolor by Prima and the white. I add water and make the white splatter <coughs> with this metallic because in that way all the paint splatter will uh, shine in the page <coughs> sorry now i cover the photo and i will add also uh, paint splatter uh, pink paint splatter with i'm using the same color bloom that i used to uh, when i adhere the f uh, my title then i 
now that all the art stones are dry I take my metallic white pearl by Fina Bear and I add or paint the art stones I like this technique to paint because they look like a lot of pearls in the page and finally I will add some of the gold sequins from the kit and I'm using my Rangel uh, gel medium to adhere these pieces and this is the final step here are the close-up well my friends i hope that you enjoyed this video that you find some inspirations remember that in the description box are the link to the kit my social media follow me on instagram facebook my blog and if you create something similar just tag me i want to see your creations I will appreciate it so much if you share this video in your social media and give me a thumbs up. Here are more videos that maybe you are interested. I see you soon. Nos vemos. Bye bye.